In this session, we're going to look at setting up our Animate environment for Creative Cloud CC. So one of the first things you need to do when you open up a program and you start a new application, so if we go File and we go New, um, we need to select ActionScript 3 as our programming language. It will then open up into an environment. Now one of the environments I want you to use is if you head to Windows, down to Workspaces, use the classic window environment, which is the one that we're looking at now. So we're going to close the libraries down. A couple other windows that you need to have access to. One is actually the Actions panel, which is very, very important for what we do. So drag that out into the middle. Click on the little arrows in the top right-hand corner to actually turn it into a... Uh, so move the Action panel over to the left-hand side of the screen. I always use my Action panels on the left-hand side of the screen, and the main reason for that is that normally I have library and properties on the right-hand side of my screen. Another one, if Components isn't existing at the moment, Components is the... Uh, three squares that sit on top of each other. Underneath here we actually find where all our buttons are. So this helps us rapid develop a lot of projects. So in here we've actually got text boxes and labels and things like that. If you can't find that at the moment, if you head to Windows you can always find components in the list. So you can always locate these two things. So you need actions and you need components. They're very, very important. Now once again that's a floating palette. If you wanted to you can actually take this out of there and then move it over and you can actually make your own docs by clicking them together. And you can actually have your own little set of palettes that you use commonly here. And when you don't want them anymore, you can de-dock them from there and actually put them back into the list. If you wanted to, you can reorder the list in any way you want. So colour palettes are up the top, etc. So what we're ready to do now is actually set up our environment. So we've actually gone into the ActionScript 3 Classic environment. One of the things we need as a layer, we need an AS3 layer, that's our programming layer. And the other one we need is our GUI. Now, always have your GUI at the bottom and your Action Script 3 at the top. So it doesn't matter how many layers you have. If you want a foreground, background, midground, that's fine. But always have the Action Script layer on top. Because as coders, that's the one we're mainly going to be working with. So normally in a company, you'll have a graphics department. They will put together those other layers for you. Our job as coders is to interface with those objects through code. Another important one that we do use is the library. As we create objects, they'll appear in the library, and properties are very, very important. So what we've just done there is established our working environment to work in Adobe Animate.